Welcome to St. Mary's Parish in Barrie, Ontario for the Daily Mass for Saturday, February the 13th, 2021, Saturday in the fifth week of Ordinary Time. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. As we come together to celebrate the Eucharist, we come recognizing our need for God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you nourish us in word and sacrament. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we look forward to your coming in glory at the end of time. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people <coughs> to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man and woman had sinned, they hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God. The Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? The man said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. God said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, Who is this that you, What is this that you have done? The woman said, the serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. To the woman, God said, I will greatly increase your pangs in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children. Yet your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. And to the man he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree about which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth to you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread until you return to the earth. For out of it you were taken, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. The man named his wife Eve because she was the mother of all living. 
And the Lord God made garments of skin for the man and for his wife, and he clothed them. Then the Lord God said, See, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. And now he might reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from which he was taken. The Lord God drove out the man, and at the east of the Garden of Eden he placed the cherubim, and a sword flaming and turning to guard the way to the tree of life. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn us back to dust and say, Turn back, you mortals. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You sweep them away. They are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes, and it is renewed. In the evening it fades, and it withers. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. So teach us to count our days, that we may gain a wise heart. Turn, O Lord, how long? Have compassion on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. As there was a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus called his disciples, and he said to them, I have compassion for this crowd, because they have been with me now for three days and have had nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will faint on the way. And some of them have come from a great distance. His disciples replied, How can one feed these people with bread here in the desert? He asked them, How many loaves do you have? They said, Seven. Then Jesus ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground, and he took those seven loaves. And after giving thanks, he broke them, and he gave them to his disciples to to distribute and they distributed them to the crowd. They had also a few small fish, and after blessing them, he ordered that these two should be distributed. The crowd ate, and they were filled, and they took up the broken pieces left over, seven baskets full. Now there were about 4,000 people, and Jesus sent them away. And immediately he got into the boat with his disciples, and went to the district of Dalmanutha. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. There's so much that we can learn about Jesus, about the nature of miracles, about us as believers, about God's love, from today's simple Gospel message. And what a familiar story that is. I remember as a young child in Sunday school, coloring pictures of this great miracle of the feeding of the 5,000 and uh, wishing that I could have been there at the time to witness that miracle. 
This morning, we're going to focus only on one aspect of the story, though, and that aspect is the compassion of Jesus that is on display there for us. We read that Jesus had compassion for the crowd. We see the expression of tenderness and love of God and the lavish lengths that God will go to to bring us comfort just through the acts of Jesus feeding those 5,000. Jesus cared that many people who came to see him were hungry, they were exhausted, they were in need. They had left their homes and followed him into the desert and remained there with him for at least three days. He's full of compassion. He's conscious of their tiredness, their hunger pangs, and their anxiety. And he decides to feed them. And the disciples look at him perplexed and they say, how can you feed these people? this great number of people with just this bread. They didn't yet understand that nothing is impossible with God. And Jesus sets out to rectify the situation by performing a miracle that feeds the crowd and they have lots and lots left over. This miracle reminds me of a similar miracle where Jesus created wine at the wedding feast of Cana. In both of those miracles, Jesus creates food, sustenance for the people in his circle. He feeds them, and in so doing, he shows us God's mercy. The truth is that God continues to feed the crowds in many different ways right to this day. We need to only look into our own lives to see how many times God feeds us. He feeds us with his word. Of course, he feeds us with his body and blood. And he brings people into our lives to journey with us, people who will teach us, or in turn, people who we might teach about God's mercy and about God's love. God watches over us. He feeds us. He is the Good Shepherd. God's word is truth that enlightens us and sets us free. And his body, of course, becomes food for our journey, drawing us into a relationship with him. As Christians, we are called to that same level of care and concern for others that Jesus showed in the Gospel story. When our fellow companions are tired or anxious, unsure of the future, uncertain about life and what it means, especially when people are having a hard time during this unprecedented period of uncertainty. Compassion means that when we see people who are faced with hurts, that we are moved deep within ourselves and we attempt to help them. Today we would do well to pray and to ask Jesus to remind us of the many times in our lives where he has shown compassion to us and when he has fed us, unexpectedly perhaps. And we should also ask Jesus what loaves and what fishes that we can offer him and that we can offer others in helping to feed and to minister to the people who God brings into our lives. How can we show compassion to others? How can we bring comfort to others? It could be as simple as offering a listening ear or a reassuring smile, or it could be just as complex as God wants it to be. That's something that we have to have a conversation with God about.
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this bread to offer. To earth is given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. forgot to mention at the beginning of Mass that we're offering this Mass for uh, the souls of Matthew Brennan and Stasia Sapersky and in the celebration of the 50th anniversary, anniversary of Nino and Lina Barbone. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May, May the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands. hands. For the, the praise and, and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, <clears throat> bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation, through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Amen. Father, who art Amen. in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us now offer one another a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the risen Lord who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The uh, government announced that Simcoe Muskoka is going into the uh, red zone uh, on uh, Tuesday, effective Tuesday, February the 16th, and so our church will be able to be open for Mass in person, and we'll shift back to our regular scheduled times for Masses starting on that Tuesday uh, with the 1210 Mass. Uh, we uh, have posted all of that on our parish website, 
and our parish Facebook page. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go. Let us go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord through our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Elect from every nation, yet one o'er all the earth, her charter of salvation.